Greetings! In today's video, I present to you a challenging Olympiad problem. We want the remainder when the polynomial x to the power of 2023 minus x to the power of 1011 minus 42 is divided by the divisor x plus 1 squared. This remainder can be expressed in the form of ax plus b and we want the value of modulus of a plus modulus of b. Pause the video here and give this question a good try. Now, the first strategy we can consider is polynomial long division. It sounds clinically insane because it is. You are talking about dividing a degree 2023 polynomial with a degree 2 quadratic. The dividend alone has 2024 terms in it because we have to consider all those invisible terms with coefficient zeros. And if you do this step by step by step, as I've shown here, the working is going to be 4044 lines long. So in theory, this can be done. You can start to observe a pattern in the quotient. You can see that the coefficients are the natural numbers, but with alternating signs. But you have to be super careful at the x to the power of 1011th term. So this problem is theoretically possible to long division out, but it is a horrible strategy. So what else do you think we can try? Now, the alternative strategy is to consider the remainder theorem. Now, let's recall the remainder theorem. It states that when a polynomial Px is divided by a linear divisor x minus a, the remainder will be p of a. Of course, this theorem applies to linear factors. And while it doesn't work in our case, we can draw some inspiration from its proof. And the proof is as follows. We can express any polynomial in the form of dividend equals to divisor times some quotient polynomial qx plus the remainder r. By substituting x equals to a, we will set the divisor x minus a to be 0, hence the remainder will be p of a. So for this question, we can set the polynomial px to be the dividend for this question. So p of x is x to the power of 2023 minus x to the power of 1011 minus 42. And we're going to let this to be equals to the divisor x plus 1 squared multiplied by some unknown quotient qx plus the remainder that we want to find ax plus b. So how can we get rid of this unknown quotient? What value of x should we sub in? We can sub in x equals to negative 1. So when we sub this in, the dividend will become negative 1 to the power of 2023, which is still negative 1, minus negative 1 to the power of 1011, which is still negative 1, minus 42. And what happens to the right-hand side? You'll see that the divisor, which is x plus 1 squared, will become 0, and this will help us get rid of the qx, and the remainder will be negative a plus b. Now this gives us our first equation, negative 42 equals to negative a plus b. The problem now is that we need two equations to solve for two unknowns. Can you think of how to construct the second equation? Do pause the video here and give this part a good try. Now, as you have no doubt realized by now, there is no other value of x that can get rid of the unknown quotient. But perhaps we can substitute x equals to negative 1 one more time if we employ a bit of calculus to form a new equation first. So what we'll do is we're going to differentiate. So if we differentiate the dividend, our new polynomial will be 2023 x to the power of 2022 minus 1011 x to the power of 1010, the negative 42, when differentiated, vanishes. On the right-hand side, we have to employ the product rule to differentiate x plus 1 squared times qx. So 
When we differentiate x plus 1 squared, we'll get 2x plus 1 multiplied by the qx. But we don't forget, we need to keep the x plus 1 squared and differentiate the qx as well. When we differentiate the remainder, ax plus b will just become a. Now, we can substitute negative 1 one more time. So when we substitute x equals to negative 1, the dividend will become 2023 times 1 minus 1011 times 1. You'll see that the divisor x plus 1 and x plus 1 squared will become 0, and that kills away the qx and the uh, q prime x, leaving behind only a. So a will be 2023 minus 1011, which is just 1012. Substitute this into equation 1, you will be able to find b to be 970. Hence, the thing that we want to find, modulus of a plus modulus of b, is just 1012 plus 970, and our final answer will be 1982. Well, I hope you enjoyed this fun little question. Do subscribe to the channel for more math content. Thank you and have a great day of learning.